Hi, I'm Jessica Collette, and I'm a pro tonnage artist and a full-time educator at a pro tonnage premier academy. This is Paige, and we're gonna make Paige beautiful today with a super easy style called the French Fringe. So we've already got Paige three quarters of the way, roughly, curled. So we just started in the front and came around and did the back, starting at the bottom and moving up. We're gonna use my Amica Curling Rod, which is a great product. Super easy for those of you at home because you can curl much easier with only one hand, there's no clamping. We shampooed and conditioned Paige with Amplified Inflection Shampoo and Conditioner from Pro Tonnage. Fabulous smell, smells great, and the smell will last all day long in your hair. So that's a great selling point for girls that like to toss their hair and smell good while they do it. Super fun. Right, Paige? Yes. Yes. While we're styling, we're gonna use Pro Tonnage Style Inflection Dry Shine Spray, really nice, super lightweight, and it's still flexible in the end, so you can run your fingers through it, you can brush it, and the curls will stay and last nice all day. The most important thing when you're doing a set is to let the set cool. So any kind of set you do, whether it's spiral waves or uh, with a curling iron or even a flat iron, is to make sure you let it cool before you move it around. I know the first thing we wanna do is run our fingers through that freshly flat ironed hair or run our fingers through a curl to get it to loosen up a little bit, but I'm gonna show you a great way to get a looser curl. Something else that's good to know is the strongest shot out of the can of hairspray is the first shot. So when you shake it and you do that first shot, it's the strongest one that you're gonna get. But you don't wanna spray all in one shot. Do three short bursts with this product and you'll get fabulous soft results. So when we heat it up and you put it around the rod, it's like butter on top of a stove. When we let it down, you're gonna get that nice curl. But if you give it a little pull, it'll cool down nicely and take that shape better. Again, always keep your elbow up. It'll make your life a whole lot easier and you'll have less burned fingers. So we're gonna continue curling up the head until we have everything curled. So you can see we have two sections left. And again, I'm just taking square inch sections so we don't get too much in the rod. And just as a side note, if you spray the hairspray down the cuticle, which is down the hair shaft, it's gonna smooth everything out so you can already see all that beautiful shine that Paige is gonna have on her hair. And if you hold your elbow up, we can do these forward towards her face. When you want nice, beachy, casual waves, you wanna go back and forth, not all one way. That's how you get spiral curls that curl all together at the bottom and then you have two curls. So if you go back and forth, you're gonna have a better result. This one here, right at the crown, is an important section. If you wanna get height there, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get your curling rod right up and under so that there's lift right at your scalp. And again, we're just gonna pull it down a little bit so the curl is more relaxed. So we're down to the last three sections. And again, when you heat the base, you're changing the pH of your hair. So what that means is, until you shampoo again, whatever you curl into it is what's gonna stay. So whether you're a everyday shampooer, an every two day shampooer, or even an every three day shampooer, this volume that you get here is gonna stay until you shampoo. So we're gonna get in right at the base and break the base. See that beautiful shine. And you can see, I just stall there for a minute right at the base and that gets that nice heat you can see right there. And one more and then we can move on to the French fringe because we want to give all this time to cool. So while the ones in the back are cool, our top ones here are not and that's where we want that height. 
So we wanna let them cool all the way down. That way your set will stay for as long as you'd like it to. We're gonna section this on Paige's hair in a trapezoid shape. So we're gonna come up from the corner of Paige's eyebrow and make a diagonal and come straight across here and come right back down to her other eyebrow. So you can see we have a nice little trapezoid right there on the top of her head. This French bang, in essence, um, is just like a French braid, and it's much easier to do on yourself because it's right in the front where you can see it. So it's not like French braiding the back of your head where you do it blind. You can see right in a mirror what you're doing. So you want three even sections, and we're gonna take the first one at the front and start there. Then when we get back to that, that's when we're gonna add. So you just take a little bit and add it in. And you work your way all the way down. And now this is fun too because you can either go all the way down to your ear or you can go down to where we ended the trapezoid, whichever you're comfortable with. It's really important when you do a French fringe to hold your fingers back from the braid so you can see how far down I am from the braid. That way you don't get the lifting in here. Your braid lays nice and flat. If you wanted to, you could put some dry shine spray on this before you start braiding because Paige has very fine hair. So we could put some on the front and that's gonna give you more texture so that you can hold on to it better and the hair is gonna stay better within the braid. Now we took just a little bit from behind her ear to help hold it back where we like it. And we're just gonna finish the braid about two inches down from her ear. And I really love these clear little clear elastics. They can go in any color hair and you never see them. It's not like if we put a big brown rubber band in Paige's hair, they slide out really easily too. So there you are, the beginning of the French fringe. This is the fun part and you can use your imagination, you can break it up, you can loosen it up as much as you want, but we want Paige's French fringe to come down right over her forehead. I just have a rat tail comb and we're gonna loosen it right up. I like to get it a little bit loose with my comb first and then you can go right in with your fingers. And you can see as you pull it up, it just loosens up ever so slightly. Now Paige does have the shorter fringe that she wears quite often, but you can see with that little bit of dry shine spray in it, it stays together nice. So you can do whatever you like with the end. I know sometimes I've left it out and you can put that curl right up in the front or if you don't, if that's awkward for you to have hanging down, just give it a spin back towards the back of your head and with a bobby pin. Put the pin right in and then it'll stay right back out of your face, just like a, much like a headband. So now our curls have had time to set. So we're gonna loosen, loosen them up. And my, one of my favorite Protonage products is this. It's the Dry Shine Texturizer. Really nice, soft, lightweight, and smells fantastic like everything else. It only takes a little bit of this. So you can see, little tiny jar, I know, but great product. Make sure you get it in your hand and work it together. And then you just go through and you can break up your curls. The dry shine texturizer stays soft all day. So it's not like spraying with a firmer hold spray. It's gonna stay soft, it's gonna stay movable. Because again, if you don't wanna shampoo for a couple days, you want it to stay soft and be able to create a different look the next day. You can see we've just got some really beautiful pieciness and you can see your highlights coming out and how shiny everything is. A little on the front and get those little guys down. Just like that. Paige, do you love it? I love it. And that's the French fringe. <laughs>